This episode is all about ensuring that the execution conditions that are used within the MT5 strategy tester match what you will receive when you trade your EA live in your broker's account. And I'll be concentrating mostly today on commission and especially in terms of when you're using custom symbols in your backtest. If you don't follow the process that I show you today, then the results you get will be misleading and probably over optimistic compared with the results in your live account. And so, of course, it's really, really important that you get this right. Today's episode is all about ensuring that you replicate your broker's execution conditions exactly in the strategy tester in MT5. And only by doing this will you stand any chance of your results being indicative of what you could expect when you trade that expert advisor in your live account. If you don't follow the process that I'm going to take you through today, then you could be putting a system live based on misinformation. And of course, that's extremely dangerous. Now, my main focus today is going to be around commission charges. And in particular, when you're using custom symbols within the MT5 strategy tester to perform your backtest. So let's first of all take a very quick look at what the issues are and then following that I'll get straight into it and show you the process you need to take to make sure that you're not going to be affected by these. So just to reiterate, the main objective is to ensure that you're replicating your broker's trading conditions when you're performing your backtesting in the MT5 strategy tester. If you don't do this, then how can you trust the results that you're getting? Now, interestingly, until fairly recently, it wasn't actually possible to replicate commission in the MT5 strategy tester. And before this time, it was really the responsibility of the trader to code this functionality into their expert advisor to make sure that commission was accounted for properly. And so if you weren't doing this before MetaQuotes released this functionality, then unfortunately your results were misleading. So for me personally, the way I chose to do this was to use the tester withdrawal function. And for every trade open and every trade close, I would withdraw an amount from the account equivalent to what my broker charges. And so in terms of the resulting equity curve, that would exactly replicate the conditions for my broker. Now, I think it's worth raising a general point here. Whenever you backtest a trading strategy, never just assume that the results are accurate. And this goes for any backtesting platform, not just MT5. And as a professional algo trader, it's your responsibility to go in, look at each of those trades that are created, or certainly a sample of those trades. And as well as ensuring that your trading strategy rules are being executed properly, you also need to check that your commission is being charged appropriately, any swap charges are being charged appropriately, that your spread is indicative of the conditions your broker provides. And if any of these are not a good replica of your broker conditions, then clearly you need to do something about it before you trust those results and put your system live. And this is just general good practice and is due diligence that every algo trader should go through. But fortunately now, in terms of commission charges, as I said, that functionality is now in place in the MT5 strategy tester. However, if you're using custom symbols, then there is a process that you need to go through to ensure that that commission is charged properly. And that is what today's episode is all about. So I'm going to jump straight into MT5 now to show you exactly what that process is that you need to follow.
So click top right now to go to the next part where I'll show you this in action.